Apple Reminders is probably my new favorite app for planning my trips. And trust me, I've tried a lot of different apps before landing on this one. Only recently I started thinking, hmm, how can I use Reminders to plan out my travels? And I tried it out and it works surprisingly well. Here's how you can use it. Step one, create a new list. Start by making a new list. Let's go with Japan or trip to Japan or something like that. Like trip to a place you want to go. <laughs> you can customize it by changing the color and also the icon. Step 2. Organize with sections. Next, go up here and create a new section for each day. Day 1, day 2, day 3, etc. You can also make sections for things like packing list, to-do list or even food to try or anything you want. This is just the way I do it. This makes everything more visually appealing and easier to organize. Oh, and also there is an alternative column view if that's what you like. Step 3. Build your etern... <laughs> Etern iter <laughs> itinerary. itinerary. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Now start adding your plans by tapping new reminder. For day one you're going to do this and maybe this and a couple of more things. Just fill it out with all the things you want to do that day. And also do the same for all the other days. Day two I want to do this, day three I want to do all these other things etc. And done. Do this for each day and boom, you have a full itinerary. Itinerary. <laughs> Step 4. Add details. You can include date, time, notes, URLs, add pictures and probably some more things like flags and priority etc. But we don't care about that. You can either tap on the I icon for the information next to your uh, reminder or you can swipe to your left and then press on details. I personally use the URL feature to add the location. Just open your favorite map app, find the location, click on share, copy the link and paste it in. Another way I personally use the URL feature is to paste in a link to some kind of inspiration. Like let's say it's an Instagram reel which I really like and I want to go there and recreate this picture or video. I just copy the link to that video and paste it in because the title of the reminder is most likely the location itself. So instead I can just search up the location manually. Or if I have too many links I can just paste them into the notes section. That also works. Lastly I can add the image of let's say the food I want to try or the thing I want to buy. I can also take a picture of the reservation or some kind of document and attach it to that reminder. Let's say it's a hotel reservation or attraction of some kind where I have a physical ticket I can just take a picture of it and attach it to that reminder. There's multiple ways you can go about doing this type of things. That's it. Now you can go and make your own travel plan. But before you do, I want to share with you some things I wish were added to make the app an even better experience. Because let's be honest, no app is perfect. Now even though I love using the reminders app for all these things, there are a few things I wish Apple would add to make it even better. File attachment. I can add images to a reminder but I cannot add a file like a PDF for example. That would be great for storing tickets or reservations instead of you know, taking picture of them or screenshotting them. Better location functionality. I assumed the location field meant where this task happens, but nope. It's actually a reminders trigger for when you arrive or leave to that location. Not super useful for travel, or in general, I don't find it useful at all. <laughs> I, I see the use case, but I don't see me personally ever using that feature. A duplicate button would be so great. I wish I could just duplicate the task because I want to keep the date and time. It would be much faster than making a new task and then going into calendar at date, time, it's take, it takes a couple seconds too long in my opinion and it's you know repetitive and kind of annoying. Let me copy and paste, let me duplicate please. Map integration. It would be amazing if they could somehow integrate let's say even Apple Maps with reminders. It would be so cool if I could visually see where all my tasks are taking place on a map. So let's say you have a map of Tokyo and you see okay you have some tasks here, here, here and you can see how far they are from each other and maybe the map could even uh, say you the time it will take to travel between the different uh, reminders that would be great 
But uh, yeah, Reminders is a task manager app, a task app. It's not a travel planner, so Apple will most likely never do this. Color-coded sections. Just a small thing, but it would make organizing even better. So why do I use Reminders over other apps? Why do I prefer this app over, let's say, Notion? Because at the end of the day, simplicity is the key. That's why I love Reminders app. It's free, it's built in, and it just works so far, so far. I have had a lot of bugs on my iPhone lately, and it's kind of getting annoying, but so far I haven't had any bugs with Reminders app. So hopefully Apple won't break it in the near future. <laughs> if you have an iPhone, you already have this app and hopefully you're already using it. I'm curious, do you use the Reminders app? Do you use it in your daily life? Or have you already tried using it for scheduling your travels or trips or... Wait, travels and trips is the same, isn't it? Hmm. Drop a comment and let me know. Other useful features for travel planning. There are a couple of extra things in this app that I really like and that you might find useful when making a travel plan. First is the collaboration feature. You can invite, let's say, your travel partner to plan the trip together. It's as simple as opening the list, clicking on the share button and then choosing the person you want to share this list with, this uh, itinerary. itinerary. God damn it. But uh, the negative thing is that the person you're sharing this list with needs to also have an iPhone. <laughs> Welcome to the Apple ecosystem. Another thing is the templates feature. If you travel a lot, you can save a template and reuse it for future trips. Or you can create templates for anything you want. Say you're making a video or a movie of some kind and you want to create a shot list you can use Reminders app for that and create a template so you can reuse it for different videos or films or whatever. There are so many possibilities. And while I was thinking about that, it got me thinking about the Notes application, Apple Notes. How different is that app from Reminders? Can you do the same things there? I played with Notes for a little bit and I realized there's so much potential here. So maybe I should make a video on that. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do a deep dive into Notes application, learn about it and share my experience with you. Before reminders, I use Notion for trip planning. It's super powerful and very useful, but it's a little bit too much for me personally. It's a great application, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of easy to get lost and spend too much time on all the small details. And I don't like wasting my time. I just want to make a schedule, organize everything quickly and nicely, and then get reminded on my phone in a simple way on what I need to do at what time, where, etc. I also love having reminders assigned to my quick action button on the side here for easy access so I can just hold it in and look at me and bam, we are in the app. And that's it for how I use Apple Reminders to plan my trips. Now go and try it for yourself. How much should you plan? This is the first question that always pops into my mind when I start scheduling and planning my trip. How much should I schedule? How detailed should I be? So my answer is that it's better to over plan it and adjust it under ways than to under plan and feel lost, if that makes sense. Personally, I do hate feeling stressed or overwhelmed. So I try to be as realistic as possible about what I can do in a day. I also take into account what I call dead zones. And this is just time I plan on doing nothing you know, like sitting and relaxing at the bench somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't have to always be A to B to C to D, like you need to always do something. You can just do nothing. But I also don't like having nothing planned. If I leave everything open-ended, I sometimes feel lost or a bit lonely. Like I don't know what to do. And I definitely don't want to waste my time planning things while I'm already on the vacation. And this has been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment about how you schedule your trips, how what apps you use, how much detail you put into them, or if you schedule at all. I would like to know that. See you next one. Bye.